Welcome to Electron Line. We're now ready to show you how to convert from the previous state to the current state. Here we want to figure out what the x and y position, the x and y velocity, or the velocity in the x direction, velocity in the y direction is of the current state based upon what it was in the previous state. Here we have the x direction, the y direction, the velocity in the x direction, the velocity in the y direction in the previous state, a delta t ago. Delta t is whatever the time interval is, could be a second, a half second, a tenth of a second, a hundredth of a second, depending upon how your tracker is working and how often you want updates to the observations. We're going to multiply that previous state with the A matrix. The A matrix will make an adjustment so that based on the velocity, we can see how the position changes. We also have to make a change for the acceleration, if there's an acceleration in the x direction and there's an acceleration in the y direction, we must then multiply the control variables, the acceleration in the two directions, times the b vector to convert that to the correct format of the state matrix, and then we're able to add this together. This will adjust for, this will adjust the position and the velocity based on the acceleration. This will adjust the position based upon the velocity. If we add them together, we then have all the adjustments necessary to take the position in the x and the y direction and the velocity in the x and the y direction and convert it to the current state, one delta t later. So let's go ahead and do that. This first matrix will look as follows. x sub k will be equal to, if we're multiplying a 4 by 4 matrix with a 4 by 1 matrix, we end up with a, one, a 4 by 1 matrix. So the fir first matrix gives us x k minus 1, that's a delta t ago, multiply times the velocity, or add, add to that the velocity in the x direction, a delta t ago times the delta t elapsed. That will be the adjustment for the x direction. We now get the same for the y direction. So we have y k minus 1, add to that the adjustment made for the velocity in the y direction. Then, if we continue, we then here get the velocity in the x direction, k minus 1 ago, and then we have the velocity in the y direction, k minus 1 ago, and that should be a subscript, so let me lower it a little bit, k minus 1. There we go. That gives us the adjustment to the position from the previous state to the current state because of the velocity in the x direction, the adjustment to position in the y direction because of the velocity in the y direction, no adjustments for the velocity in the x and y direction because for that we need the control variables. We add to that the multiplication here. Again, we end up with a 4 by 1 matrix. 1 half delta t squared times a sub x. a sub x times 1 half delta t squared. Then here we get a sub y times one half delta t squared. Then we get a sub y times delta t. And we get, oh, let me take it back. That's an a sub x. a sub x times delta t and an a sub y times delta t. These are the adjustments. The first two elements here in this matrix are the adjustments to the x and the y position because of the acceleration. And these are adjustments to the velocity due to the acceleration. If we now add these two together, we get a single matrix that will now give us the x position, the y position, the velocity in the x direction, and the velocity in the y direction in the current state based upon the previous state and how the velocity and acceleration then are adjusted for. Add these elements together, we get the position in the x direction from the previous state. Add to that the, cor the correction due to the velocity. and add to that the adjustment due to the acceleration. Same for the y direction. We get the previous position in the y direction. Add to that the adjustment because of the velocity in the y direction. And add to that the adjustment for the acceleration in the y direction. Here we have the previous velocity in the x-direction, and add to that the adjustment caused by the acceleration in the x-direction. And here we get the velocity, the, the velocity in the previous time frame in the y-direction, add to that the adjustment due to the acceleration in the y-direction. And now we have the adjustment to the, from the previous state to the current state, the x-position, 
the y position, the velocity in the x direction, and the velocity in the y direction. And that's how the state matrix is used. That's how we use matrix A and matrix B in the correct format so we can make the adjustment and now have a new state with new values for the x to y position, the, the velocity in the x direction, and the velocity in the y direction. You can tell that at this point we have not yet included the noise, process, the noise in the process, but that comes later. We'll have to show you how to make the covariance matrices, and we'll show you that in some later videos. That's how it's done.